You already know how to use the multi-parameter for various cases from simple to complex, and even to build a user interface with them. But there are a few situations which may be a bit difficult at first. In this video, we will go through the first one. Problem number one. I want to make a simple compressor in MXXX1 with a dry wet control, which would disable the compressor when set to 0% to save the CPU power. So I add dynamics module. Set the threshold and ratio somehow so that it does some compression. Now I learn the dry wet parameter to the multi parameter one and name it. Move it a bit and it works. But when the value is 0%, it doesn't disable the dynamics module. That's what we're going to do now. First, each module has two switches enable and bypass. It's almost always better to use the bypass because changing enable requires lots of CPU and may change the entire modular grid. So we will use the bypass. It's important to know that bypassing an effect will lower the CPU only if the module doesn't introduce latency. If it does, we need to disable the smart bypass option first. So let me do that now, just for the sake of demonstration. Right click on the dynamics module and click on the smart bypass title button. Time to make the bypass work. Right click the multi-parameter one again and select learn. Then press the bypass button on the dynamics module a few times so that it learns it. Stop learning and let's see what it does. It bypasses the module, yes, but it bypasses it for values above 50%. The bypass is a binary value, meaning that above 50% it is enabled and below 50% it's disabled. So I need to fix the bypass parameter range. If the dry wet is 100%, hence maximum, the bypass should be disabled, hence 0%. So the maximum is 0%. If the dry wet is 0%, hence minimum, the bypass should be enabled so 50% or higher. And here's the fun part. It needs to be just a tiny bit above 50% so that as soon as you set the dry wet just a little bit above 50%, it will disable the bypass. To do that, simply move the value knob to the center and use the mouse wheel to first get below the center where it starts saying off and then just touch the mouse wheel upwards a bit until it says on. Now it works just fine.